anterior extensor mechanism of the knee joint. The extensor mechanism of the knee is a complex structure formed basically by three structures that are interlinked with each other, the quadriceps muscle tendon, the patella and the patella tendon. While the quadriceps muscle tendon attaches to the upper pole of the patella, the patella tendon is seen from the inferior pole of the patella. In addition to these, the patella retinacula, restrictor ligaments, Hoffa's fat pad, pre-patella soft tissue should be known about. The extensor apparatus is the main knee extensor and stabilizer of the patellofemoral joint. The quadriceps tendon, patella tendon are well seen in the sagittal images as low intensity structures as we see here. The infrapatellar fat pad is a very important region. This triangular fat pad is located as we see just below the patella, posterior to the patella tendon. The patella is well seen in the axial images and we can see the trochlear groove of the femur and the patella comfortably placed where it should be normally. Coming to the retinacula, there are two retinacula, the medial and the lateral patellar retinacula which are nothing but fascicular extensions of the vastus medialis and lateralis muscles. They reinforce the muscles and preserve the normal patella tracking. They look like low signal intensity structures. They are actually condensation of two layer of fibers. Retinacula is made up of both the superficial and the deep layer of fibers extending from the patellar margin continuous with the vastus medialis obliquus fascia. Whereas the patellofemoral ligament is nothing but the deeper fibers extending from the patella and inserting into the medial epicondyle of the femur. This is in short about the anatomy of the anterior extensor mechanism. We will deal with the pathology one by one in the following tutorials. Acute traumatic patellar dislocations. Traumatic patellar dislocations occur laterally. The trauma includes both non-contact indirect injuries and direct injuries, secondary to blow to the knee. The usual mechanism of injury includes twisting, valgus stress or direct blow to the knee. Typical MR findings as we see in this case is a laterally subluxed patella. The medial patellofemoral ligament is torn from the patellar aspect. Hemorrhagic joint effusion is seen. There is typical edema in the medial aspect of the patella and the lateral femoral condyle in acute patellar dislocations. Apart from this, there may be osteochondral or chondral defect from the patella as we see here from the median facet area. On careful viewing, the chondral fractured fragment was seen lying within the hemorrhagic joint effusion also. Other features may also involve a patellar fracture from the medial aspect. This patient was subjected to medial patellofemoral ligament repair. Arthroscopic lavage was done and the small chondral fragment was washed away.